I would like to shout out Caressa McKnight for sending me this story. This is more of an update now. Before I get into it, this is the image of Pamela Turner that I would rather see than the mugshot that they constantly put up there of her. Especially since they never put up a picture of the cop that I know of, because I haven't seen one yet. But maybe it's one floating out there, but I couldn't find one. But they have yet to put an image of the cop that actually killed her out there. Like, I tried to find it. I put their names together in the Google search, and nothing ever came up except her image. And it's very interesting, too, because the story that was sent to me with the update, the first picture I saw was Pam Turner's mugshot again, even though the story was not really so much about her, but more so about the cop that killed her. But anyway, the update is, and it should be as no surprise to anybody, is that the cop who killed her, whose name is Juan Dela Cruz, and I'm shocked they actually gave us the name, but they should have just gone, went all the way and gave us its image as well, is now back on the job. Now, Pamela Turner was killed on May 13th. Th came out May 24th, which was this past Friday. That means that he apparently or supposedly was not working for a week or something or a, a little over a week or so or maybe less than a week and he was right back on duty after shooting and killing somebody shot them in the face the fact that they never put his image out there he was never arrested he was never hit with anything lets you know that they had no intentions of pursuing anything against him. The family was, of course, but the department that he worked for had no intentions of having any type of disciplinary actions placed on him. They were protecting him straight out the gate. They ran with the story that she took his taser and tried to hit him with it. And lamestream media helped aid in that, and that's why a lot of people went with that story and made it seem like it was her fault, even though it came out that this woman was mentally ill. It did come out that she was not pregnant. That did come out and say that if she wasn't pregnant, she was just yelling she was pregnant because she was mentally ill. She wasn't all the way right. But when it comes to black people versus white people, when it comes to that mental illness thing, they will always say that we were in our right frame of mind or they'll never take us seriously when we say that we're mentally ill. But they'll instantly believe a white person is mentally ill. I can't think of how many stories I've seen uh, this week where you had, whether I spoke on, on it or not, where you had white people literally getting into confrontations with cops and the cops allowed them to pretty much allow it to happen. They never once pulled out their gun. I've seen images online where black people are being pulled over by cops. And when they're asking them for their ID and registration, the first thing that the cop has their hand on is their gun. Like, it's almost like they are prepared to shoot us. When we're in a very vulnerable position where we can't do anything except take the bullet and die. So this woman is deceased. They let him back on the job. It's pretty much, this is pretty much like an open and shut case. I don't even call it a case. They, the woman was murdered. But one thing we also have to do as black people was we need to take mental illness in our community seriously. That's something that we've always like pushed off to the side and said that's a white person thing i'm not going to go see a therapist i don't need any help because you know for years we've been told that we're just hardwired this way but a lot of us out here are really messed up and we really need to seek any type of help on a professional level that we can and you also have to have a support system behind you because there's no way that you can get through something like this on your own it's impossible but this doesn't surprise me that this happened. And that Juan De La Cruz, huh, so much for that, bl that black and brown unity that they claim exists. So that guy pretty much got away with murder. He's back on the job and he's most likely going to do it again to somebody else. Again, I offer my condolences to Pam Turner's family, you know, her friends, her associates, whoever she was close to. This is most likely like a devastating thing for them to have to hear that the person that killed their loved one is back on the job literally a week, maybe a, a week or a little over a week later after killing their loved one. 
but it, unfortunately it comes with the territory and this happened in Texas too so so that hardly even surprises me but y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments like share subscribe I will talk to you in the next one